boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. It's always so nice to talk to you about something that we're excited about, something that we're going to really enjoy us for, something that I'm really excited to see actually come to fruition, especially from the entertainment industry out there. And boys and girls, Universe's epic Universe Harry Potter Ministry of Magic Attraction looks absolutely phenomenal. And the beautiful part about all of this is we have talked about this time and time in the past. And it's one of those situations where we heard this time and time again. Disney will never have to change its ways. Disney will never have to do anything. Those parks will fund it forever. And ladies and gentlemen, after quarterly report, after quarterly report, we can absolutely say beyond a shadow of a doubt that that is not true in any way, shape, or form. Park attendance is down, park revenues are down, and Disney is scrambling to do everything they can to try to fix it and try to jack up prices, hoping to make up for the fact that less people are going to their parks every single year. It's not only because of the fact that so many of the rides are constantly broken, but because of the outrageous prices, and of course, because just how Disney has fallen in the eye of the general public out there. So guess what? <laughs> Universal Epic Studios out there was like, hold my beer and watch this because holy cow, do they have some explosions coming in out there and ladies and gentlemen, it is just going to decrease the market share that the Disney Corporation has already in Orlando and it's going to cost the company even more money and it's exactly what they deserve because Universal is doing this right and when you see the pictures, you will be absolutely blown away. It is gorgeous, it is stunning and it's going to put Disney all the way to shame, boys and girls. So from that parkplace.com and our dear sweet Montanero, Universal's Epic Universe Harry Potter Ministry of Magic attraction photos deliver on concept art promise. I know, what a crazy subject, what a crazy, well, concept. Ladies and gentlemen, that the reflection of the stuff you actually try to show people, things you try to show your fans and your customers and your potential investors, maybe what you actually end up producing on the back end should actually properly represent that. If not, you're just going to get called out for it. And guess what? Universal took that to heart and was like, oh, no, no, no. We're not going down the Disney path. No, we're going to do things much better. And that's exactly what they've done here because when we show you the comparisons to the concept art from between Harry Potter's new Hogwarts ride, or new Harry Potter Ministry of Magic ride out there, what the concept art looked like, and then compare it to what Disney has shown for concept art and what they actually have brought to fruition, you will understand exactly why. Disney's parks are failing and Universe is about to eat Universal Studios is about to eat their lunch, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to check out this article, get all the juicy details, show you those beautiful pictures. But before we do, if you do enjoy our content, hit that like button, share with all your friends, and subscribe or follow if you have not already, boys and girls, because we are grinding, we are growing, and I could not do that without every single one of you. Also, leave us a comment in the section down below. Let me know what you think about this. You, are you excited about Universal's epic universe out there? Are you excited to see that if this is what the concept art looked like and actually what it came to be out there in the world, this is going to be exactly what all of the rest of it's going to look like as well and excited for all of that. Do you think this is actually going to end up eating Disney's lunch and hurting them a whole lot when it comes to the parks out there? And do you, would you prefer, would you rather go to Disney World and spend all of that outrageous money on there in Orlando or would you rather go check out all of the wonderful stuff coming this summer from Universal? Universal Studios with Harry Potter and Dra and, the, and of course How to Train Your Dragon and everything else. Let us know what you think about all that in the comment section down below. All right, from thatparkplace.com and our dear sweet Montanero. Is Disney in trouble? Yes. Yes, they are. While in both in Orlando and Anaheim, logs jammed waterways on Tiana's Bayou Adventure, Disney's biggest theme park competitor just dropped the mic with the set of stunning epic universal Harry Potter photos that actually deliver on their lofty promises. I know, what a strange concept. The new attraction, Harry Potter and the Battle for the Ministry, will open along with the rest of Epic Universe on May 22nd. Fans got their first look inside the fabled Ministry of Magic from J.K. Rowling's fantasy classic novel series about when People Magazine released a set of stunning images that show the new area in all its glory. And May 22nd, that's just a few days after my birthday. Wouldn't that be a fun birthday trip? And unlike the House of Mouse down the street, the Universal's final product actually met the expectations set by the initial concept art. And of course, we've got here Wallen Ballen over here on X that shows off the actual full picture. You can see the original concept art that we all saw in the trailers, that we all watched. We all checked this off from the pictures and everything else. And now you see from inside the ride itself, boys and girls, it is practically identical. I would hearken to say it even looks better in the actual ride than it did 
did in the concept art out there. And look at it. It's all got all of the exact same features, all of the exact same designs, all the exact same curves. You've got the flu powder network all in the same place. You've got Dolores Umbridge up there on the big screen getting ready to go on trial. I mean, this is how you do it. This is the concept art that we're seeing out there. And we're not done yet. There's even more pictures over here, boys and girls, and it looks absolutely glorious. Quick note to the Order Orlando theme park area resort, Wallen Ballen said, this is called delivering on your concept art. Please take note. Absolutely. Delivering on concept art promises has been something of a sore spot for Disney fans in recent years. Tiano's Bayou Adventure featured stunning concept art that showed a large tree atop the attraction with a boat resting atop it. The final version delivered a bland uphill with plain grass. As you can see right here, here's the gorgeous and stunning a concept art there. It feels a very fairy kind of land. You've got the wonderful little sparkles. You've got all the little lightning bugs. It looks so cool. It looks so cute. You've got the little boat up there on top. You've got everything coming out. You've got the little, of course, you've got your dancing little alligator singing all kinds of music. The beautiful Tiana out there in her wonderful dress. And then this is what you got, boys and girls. This is what you got. Literally, this is what they trashed Splash Mountain for because Splash Mountain was just so problematic that we had to bring in Tiana's Bayou Adventure. And not to mention on the top of the fact that this thing is broken all of the time. Right here, Disney Glimpses says, The problem is no matter what Disney does here, the people supporting these insane ideas will support it even after it's done simply so they don't have to eat their words. Take Tiano's Bayou Adventure, for example, which looks like a third-rate copycat version of what they originally conceptualized. Yep, because I hate to tell you, those don't look too familiar, especially when you compare it to, uh, I don't know, the uh, Harry Potter Ministry of Magic ride, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, me thinks Disney might be in trouble. That's the unfortunate saga of Communications Hall at Epcot. This new permanent festival center was supposed to have a futuristic look with a rooftop bar. I mean, doesn't that look cool? Doesn't that look neat? You got a little bar area, a little restaurant, you got a cool little spiral staircase you can go up. I mean, this looks neat. This looks cool. Guess what you got? However, Disney banned in this initial stunning design in favor of a bland cafeteria we now have today. Yeah, boys and girls, me thinks not. I mean, literally, this looks like it could be in any strip mall in any place in America right here. Not something that belongs in kind of the futuristic feeling that Epcot is supposed to give you. Yeah, not so much, ladies and gentlemen, not so much. The new Epic Universe Harry Potter area actually improved on its initial concept. See, that's what I said, too. Delivering the stunning visuals promised and actually and accenting them more with the vibrant colors, as you can see right over here, boys and girls. And I mean, just look at this. This is stunning. I mean, these pictures just pop and shout out to the photographer who took at them. I'm sure you're an incredible professional out there. I mean, but these look great. I mean, look at the attention to detail with the leather on the walls, the little ministry of magic symbols all over the place. Those chairs look comfy as all hell. You've got great armrest. You've even got buckles there. I mean, the whole nine. This is looking glorious. And I mean, look at this. The colors are so much more bright. They pop so much more than what we saw in the initial concept art. I mean, you've got the exact Exact same statue there from the original source material, from the original concept art there, right there, standing there at the time, accurate to the time period that this is all set up to be. And of course, right there, you've got Dolores Umbridge's big old ugly mug evil, sort of evil little witch that she is right there on the big screen, getting ready to stand trial. And I mean, look at this. The attention to detail in every one of those little apartments or whatever they're supposed to be back there. Those offices back there. I mean, look at that. You can see inside of almost every single one of them. You can actually see the details inside of it. And I mean, look at that sky. That is gorgeous. Look at the thunder. Look at the lightning, which is exactly what the Ministry of Magic is supposed to have. There's even a joke in the story, too, about how it's maintained by the maintenance guys. And when they went on strike one time, they had nothing but rainstorms and clouds forever until they finally got it and returned it back to sunshine and made everybody happy. Because this isn't an underground facility. This is under London, ladies and gentlemen. And look at that animatronic. I'm assuming it's probably going to move, but even if it's just a statue, I mean, look at that thing. It's gorgeous. Look at the attention to detail they've got on that. You can see the veins in the feet. Ladies and gentlemen, look at the stacks of papers. You've got that, all that ornate detail in the background. I mean, that just looks gorgeous and stunning. Have you seen anything come out of modern Disney in the parks? Look, even one-tenth of good as this. Tiana's Bayou Adventure sure as hell didn't pull this off. And look at what Universal is doing. Universal is about to eat Disney's lunch when it comes to market share on the parks. And guess what? It's exactly what Disney deserves. 
And in the images above, you can see the main atrium of the ministry. The central statue is featured in a duel between Voldemort and Dumbledore in the novel Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix. An animatronic Dolores Umbridge is house elf Higgledy. Oh, it is an animatronic. Good. And even the ride vehicle for the new attraction. The ride vehicle appears to have push plush red seats with seat belts instead of the large restraints typically seen on other major Harry Potter rides in Universal Parks. Well, this one probably won't be quite as crazy as an up and down and flipping you all about. This is probably going to be kind of more of a chill kind of ride, which is great for families. You can go through, see all the adventure stuff, look around kind of like that kind of thing so I like that idea the ride story takes place after the Harry Potter books and movies conclude and brings guests to the trial of Dolores Umbridge perhaps Rowling's most despicable and hated villain from the series she attempts to break out sending the ministry into a pandemonium while guests ride along the all direction elevators first showcased in the films this stunning attraction is the centerpiece of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter's Ministry of Magic area, which also features Wizarding Paris from the 1920s, first glimpse in Warner Brothers' Fantastic Beast film series, which honestly looks really cool. Like all the little street stuff that they're going to have down there on the ground, like all the crazy different little attractions. They're going to have like street performers and all kinds of stuff. It looks really, really dope from what we've seen so far. And clearly, based on this, we know that the concept art is going to re- actually reflect what we actually see, unlike Disney. Guests will arrive at the London Ministry of Magic through the Flu Network and the books from the books and the films. And yeah, it's going to be spot on. I mean, this is gorgeous. Boys and girls, this is just absolutely stunning how incredible this looks. I don't think I've ever seen anything at a theme park be this detailed, be this beautiful, be this gorgeous. And then we've got what's over here with Tiano's Bayou Adventure, the former Splash Mountain. Ladies and gentlemen, let's be honest with ourselves. Even if you're a Disney simp, even if you're a Disney fanboy out there, you cannot deny in any way, shape, or form that this is going to be absolutely fantastic it looks incredible and it is going to end up eating Disney's lunch when it comes to market share. Disney's in a bad spot overall and especially their parks. We've seen reports after time and time again about all of the fights, about how dirty things are, about how the rides are constantly broken. It's just not that little magical place that it used to be out there. It's not escapism from the real world anymore and considering the fact that if you are very well aware or even slightly aware of all of the kind of crazy things that Disney has pushed with their kind of agenda and their identity politics, everything you see about Disney is just going to remind you of all of those kind of things. That is the direct opposite that we have gotten with the Harry Potter franchises. What we have gotten with the Dragon, with the, with the How to Train Your Dragon franchise, with the Monster Universe that we are getting from Universal Epic. It all looks incredible. It all looks amazing. And this is the proof in the pudding that yes, with enough time, effort, and actual love for your craft and what you want and promising to make your customers absolutely happy, keeping those people in mind and not your own personal identity politics will deliver on exactly what we want. Because guess what? Universal has proven that yes, you can make something look identical, if not even better than your initial concept art out there. And that is something Disney in its current iteration has proven time and time again that they cannot do. It fails, it flops, and now Universal is coming for your lunch, Disney. And guess what? It's exactly what you deserve.